you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. I know. So, um, it's been a long, long day. I just got um, back from picking up Berlin. He had his surgery today. It went very well. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, it went very well. Hello. And he's doing well. Um, I brought Velocity in. I was feeding the dog, so I brought her in, and she's doing her inside time now. And um, I was taking a look at her, and I and I do think that it's highly likely that she is indeed pregnant, which I was not expecting her to be pregnant. I I thought for sure that that um, that Suki would be, and that Velocity wouldn't be, but. Um, I think it's reversed. I think I think that Sookie is not, and I think that Velocity is. Um, now I could be wrong, but what what's s striking me as odd is that I went outside. And I was checking on um, Sookie because she's still pretty swollen back there, and I just wanted to kind of see. And I noticed that she was still had some um, blood discharge. And she was bred, gosh, like two weeks ago. So I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't smell. Um, so that's a good thing. And um, so I'm a little worried about it. Um, so I'm going to monitor it. I did take her temperature. She did not have a fever. So I guess we're going to see. Um, I'm thinking about taking... Um, taking her in to get a culture made just to, just to make sure that there's nothing there. Um, I will say this, if she does have pyometra, if she does, I don't know if she does or not, but if she does, I'm going to spay her and just be done. Um, that's for me, it's just too much. Um, I don't, I don't want to, you know, her mom had issues and had to be retired early and now I was hoping, see, when you, when you, when you have a dog, a female, a lot of people would assume that whatever the mother has, the daughter will have, but that's not always true. Um, there's plenty of times where some of the dogs, um, even, even, even humans, um, if you have like a bunch of children, not every daughter is going to be exactly the same. They're going to have different differences. Some will, but some won't. And so... When you're dealing with a breed like this that has, um, like this breed was only, I would say like revived about 35, 40 years ago. So it's not a whole lot of time. Hey baby, hey baby, look at you poofed up, you sweetie. So, um, so anyway, so because of that, we do need, we do, we do have to try to work with what we can and... So sometimes it works and, you know, sometimes it doesn't, but, um, but anyway, Velocity, why don't you come say hi? Velocity, you're a sweet baby girl. Hello. Hello, sweet baby. Hello. 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 So the reason I didn't think Velocity was preggers was because, get down, don't you be licking yourself on my bed. No, you go. Yeah, I love you, but go. I just wanted you to say hi. I don't want you in my bed. Your cochina. Your cochina. Porque tu so cochina. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, man, really? Yeah, really? Yeah, that's why I've got this sheet on my bed, though. For the birds and for the, for the, the dog. Para mi perro. Y'all be nice. Be nice. Be nice. So anyway, yeah, so Velocity, the reason I didn't think she was is because she um, was so swollen for so long. And then eventually it came down and I was like, okay, all right, well, I guess we're good. Um, but now I'm going through that with Sookie. The only difference is that Sookie still has some discharge. Now, I will say I didn't um, notice any discharge out of Velocity, but that's not to say that there wasn't any. So I guess we're just going to have to see what's going on there. 
Um, but, you know, I'm going to take her in. Like I said, I'm going to take her in. And as long as everything's good, I'll wait till Monday. Take her in, get a, get a, um, a swab done and see, see what's going on there. From now on, anytime I ever have a dog with any kind of infection, abscess, anything like that, from now on, taking them in, I'm getting a culture made and I'm treating that thing specifically. Vets will oftentimes want to just like, um, they'll oftentimes want to just, um, just kind of throw stuff at the wall until something sticks and they'll just like, they're like, let's try this antibiotic and let's try that one. And really and truly, it's not a problem to try an antibiotic, but you should have a culture done in the meantime to make sure that you're treating the right thing. Because if you do not have a culture made and you're treating the with the wrong antibiotic, you're allowing that um, bacteria to get worse, well, hello, to get worse than it would have had you cultured it and taken care of it sooner. So I'm a big fan of cultures now. That's what I do now. I highly recommend it. Yeah, like I said, it's it's fine to start with something. Um, go ahead and get that little. Eh, you guys be nice. Go. Hey, what? Hey, no, no, no. You do not paw me right there. Those are my tatas, and I won't be pawing your tatas. Um, y'all be nice. Weirdos. So anyway, um, these are some weird birds. They're making out over there. You guys are weirdos. What is that about? You guys are like, are you being nice? I can never really trust Frankie. Why is it so blurry? Can't trust you, Frankie. Frankalicious. Frankmeister. Look, that over there. With the tail. That's the kitty kitty jet. Ah, 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 tch, tch, tch. Don't you grab on that tail. Yeah, Frankie. Rude. So anyway, yeah, so like I said, if um, if that's what I'm dealing with out of Sookie, there's a chance. One time I got that out of Blondie, and it was just that she had, she just had um, vaginitis. And so it's possible that that could be it, or it's possible, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it could just be a really weird heat cycle, but if it's, if she's, if it's not Pio and it's just a weird heat cycle... I'll give her one more shot, but if it is Pio, she's being spayed. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, you know, it's, I'm just not going to do it. There's really no need to, so I'm not going to. Um, so if that, if that is what happens, then I'll make her available to a pet home. Um, other than that, Berlin, like I said, he's doing fantastic. I'm really happy about it. He's like 90 pounds and he's, uh, He's only seven months old, so he's a big dude. Um, like I said, pretty sure Velocity is Preggers just just off of that bacteria, uh, bacteria off of that activity. Her tatas are are really um, getting big and they're getting swollen, and there's a lot of like um, like it's it's there's a lot of, a lot of activity there. So for me to for me to go from not thinking she is to thinking to absolutely is pretty wild. Um, for sure, Trinity, for sure, um, for sure, Blondie, or not Blondie, uh, Nirvana, um, you guys better be nice. Hello, Velocity, sweet baby. Are you sweet baby? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Go, my baby girl. Go, my baby girl. Boop, boop, boop. Um, I've been gone and not not uploading because of, of what I've been going through. I, as many of you know, I've been kind of going through stuff with the county here. And, um, and so I was told that I wasn't going to be able to stay like, well, not that I wouldn't be able to stay, but that I wasn't going to be able to be approved for my permit without community support. 
And recently I got community support. I got, I got way more support than the my opposition, like way more. It's not even a question. And we're going to be doing a meet and greet with my dogs. Hopefully this weekend I've been waiting for the weather, but I think Sunday I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring in some pastries, maybe some local, buy some local fruit or something and um, just kind of have like a little meet and greet for everybody. Maybe some sweet tea or homemade lemonade. And just let everybody kind of get to know my dogs and um, and just kind of, you know, <clears throat> um, just kind of see, I guess, um, I think I'm going to collect, I'm going to try to collect signatures, have people sign their names, put their address so that we know where everyone's at locally. But I think that's going to be my best bet as far as getting more support it's it's we have plenty but nonetheless when I when I asked the county about it now that I had support the you know it was a very bland answer um basically like well you know ultimately it's up to the board of supervisors so I don't really know what's going on I know that I'm I know that I've met every goal every requirement that's been made thus far other than some pretty wild ones about what they want out of my house um, like what they want me to do I will say that there's a ton of breeders in my area and none of them can understand why I'm even having to go through this um, through this process I did find out that Virginia has three different definitions of a commercial breeder if that doesn't make it confusing enough they have a state definition they have a county definition and then they have a zoning definition. Now, um, the only definition that I meet is the zoning definition. I do not meet the county definition and I do not meet the state definition of a commercial breeder. So that in itself is, it, it is frustrating. You know what I mean? Um, that they, and I'm, and we're in the process of trying to find out exactly how it is that they're able to do that. Like what, what, what power has been granted to them that gives them the ability to make up their own definitions of words that are already defined. Um, but you know, we'll see. I've asked for the wording on that. Um, I actually was, um, another uh, person locally actually is the one who asked me to get that information. Not, um, I didn't even know to ask for it. So we'll see what happens. There's a high likelihood that I may have to end up hiring an attorney. I did have an attorney, but I wasn't, um, happy with with the service that I was being provided and so I think I'm gonna get a different attorney um and so probably I atched Frankie probably on Monday I will Psst, Frankie quit it you stop it Frankie do not um thank you good bird so anyway, um, so I do, uh, I, like I said, I'll call on Monday, but I do think I'm going to need to get another attorney. Um, I spoke with another attorney recently, a, a, a family friend, but he's not licensed here. And he, he basically kind of told me what I need to do for anyone who's ever wondering in the future. And you don't want to get in a situation like I did with my last attorney, always try to negotiate a fee cap, um, very important. So I didn't know about that, but now I do. But yeah, fee cap. So anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna, I'm trying to relax. Once I got support from the community, which is, which is honestly not something I thought that I would get. Um, and not to say that I thought there was anything bad about me. I just thought that in general, people didn't like breeders. And so I, I, that's what I was, that's why I was assuming that. Um, but it was actually, I live in a fantastic community, actually. <laughs> a wonderful, wonderful um, community that supports breeders. There's a lot of local breeders here, supports supports farms and supports property rights and all that kind of stuff. So really and truly, um, I've never been happier as far as my community. There's three neighbors that don't like me, but that's neither here nor there when it comes to the whole community. Um... So anyway, when that happened, when I got that support, I was so overwhelmed. I was so shocked that it kind of hit me 
the next day where I was so happy. I was so full of joy and peace. Like it was almost like I had already won and that's, and I'm not saying that I have, but in my mind, that's almost what I, how I saw it in a way. And psh, Frankie and, um, and, and I got all of a sudden I was exhausted, like absolutely just exhausted and like, like oddly enough, content at peace for the first time in a long time. My brain was able to just relax and be silent, but I was exhausted. And um, yesterday I was feeling better and I was going to try to film, but I ended up um, buying a bunch of trees that I'll show you guys. If you if you want to see them, they're on Life of Senza on that channel. But um, but anyway, but I planted like over 30 trees. Um and no, I haven't planted them all. I take that back. I've planted 15 so far. Um, but they're all going to be these big privacy, um, trees to basically block off my neighbor sound, any sound, any view from my house. So I'm trying to do everything that I can. It's not to be a jerk on my end. It's literally to, um, it's literally to, to help them so that they are more comfortable. So anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to indulge in this, which we all know what that is. We have all been watching. Um, but yeah, um, I swear y'all like this, this needs to be a thing. Like we need to call these girls Ambers from now on. The young one, like an Amber is a young Karen. I think that's what that is. It's like a Karen before she's matured into a Karen. So it's like an Amber. It's like, don't be an Amber. So anyway, well, I'm gonna let y'all go. I gotta put up my birds. Looks like they're tired. I was hanging out with them being cute, but looks like they need to go to bed. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.